Garmin's solution for safer cycling, who carries the liability during a protest, and credit life policyholders wait for a ruling. I'm Sarah Bassett and this is Risk Africa TV. Garmin Southern Africa recently introduced a line of smart cycling devices, including a rear view bike radar and smart bike lights. The Varia rear view bike radar warns cyclists of vehicles approaching from behind from up to 140 meters away. Francis Bailey spoke to Garmin Southern Africa's Mark Bainbridge about the technology. Varia radar is a it's all product range that we're launching under the Varia name. So the one we've launched now is the, the radar, which is a safety product. So basically how it works is the back end of the unit that mounts on the back under your seat post mm -hmm. is effectively a, a, a bright red pale light. It's got bright red LEDs on it. Inside that pale light is a radar, the same as you sort of find on a boat um, on a jet plane sort of thing. Yes. So while you're riding, it acts as a, a general backlight just to alert cyclists, cars, other people on the road uh, that you are visually there. Yes. And then once a car starts approaching, uh, the device will pick you up, will pick up the car from 140 meters back. Um, what it then does, you'll either have a small little head unit, a little display unit on your, your handlebar, and it can display up to eight different um, cars at a time. You see the, the, the stats about people getting hit from behind and killed are about 40% yeah. fatalities. Yeah. So it's all about understanding what's behind you. In the aftermath of the recent widespread student protests, Comarg Director of General Liability, John Stebbing, recently spoke about who carries the liability for damage to property. Sven Hugo reports. According to Stebbing, the party with the deepest pockets is often taken to task. And in the case of the student protests, this may well be the universities. Stebbing says that almost all liability policies state that terrorism, war and civil unrest are excluded from the cover. At times, the exclusion may seem odd, since policies specifically exclude deliberate wrongdoing in any way. The recent protests across the country, however, demonstrate why such an exclusion is still relevant. The university may somehow be seen to be provoking civil unrest by increasing student fees as a pertinent example. The university might be blamed for the ensuing protest, including any violence, and those who suffered losses could in turn sue the university for their loss. The bottom line, according to Stebbing, is that prevention, in this case, is better than the cure, and it may in this instant be more prudent to advise one's client on ways to manage risks. This is Sven for Risk Africa TV. In our final story, ShopRite account holders have been advised to keep paying their credit life insurance premiums and repaying their loans, while the National Consumer Tribunal considers the merits of the case against the retailer. The company was referred to the NCR earlier this month for alleged reckless lending and missold credit life insurance. Earlier this week, the national credit regulator ordered another retailer, the Lewis Group, to refund 44.1 million rand, in addition to 23 million rand in interest, to customers who, it said, were mistakenly sold retrenchment cover between 2007 and 2015. Regarding ShopRite, the tribunal has yet to make its decision, but it assured the company's customers it would ensure that every affected consumer is repaid their premiums if the ruling is in their favor. I hand you over to Angelique with our weekly events roundup. What have you got for us, Ange? Thank you, Sarah. There's Brian Master and then there's Master Chef. Now you can master the art of incorporating ETFs in your client's portfolio with InvestSA's Masterclass Breakfast Seminar. The event will be held on the 12th of November at the JC in Santon. Exchange traded funds have seen a huge jump in popularity over the last five years. With this seminar, we've rounded up the best industry experts to walk you through the ins and outs of ETFs. The event is sponsored by ETFSA and CoreShares. Email ange at coms.co.za to book your ticket. Are you a tech-savvy broker? Are you in touch with the ever-changing world of technology? Book your seat for Risk Africa's upcoming Better Business Breakfast, named Tomorrow's Technology Today. Sponsored by Roundcube and Software AG, the seminar looks at purposeful software adaption and challenges such as coping with present systems and applications, and several what-if scenarios. Brian Nelson, Industry Head of Google South Africa, will lead the presentations. The event will be held on the 18th of November at the Maslow Hotel in Santon. Tickets are $3.95 per person, so book your seat today. 
that's it from me. That's it from us this week. Click on the subscribe button below or follow us on Facebook or Twitter for more updates. I'm Sarah Bassett and thanks for tuning in. See you again next Friday.